Denver, what are you doing here? I'm doing the my job. <laughs> <laughs> I know the name. D. So so sore. Doing my job, my job. Doing doing my job, my job. Doing. Hi everybody, I'm Mika, and I love D. Hey yo, what's up? This is D Source. We're back here uh, to give you a recap on uh, what just went down uh, Saturday night at the Home Depot Center in Carson, California. We got uh, a couple of big fights that went down between uh, Nonito Donair Jr. against uh, Toshiaki Nishioka, and of course, uh, in what would be uh, a candidate of uh, Fighter of the Year. Brandon Rios against uh, Mike Alvarado. So let's get down to it. First of all, as expected, Nonito Donaire gave uh, Toshiaki Nishoka the business. I'm not telling you. I ain't lying. Like I said, man, no disrespect to Nishioka. Donaire just got him, you know. Man, I felt bad for Nishioka. Nonito saw everything that he was doing. <laughs> Even before the fight, like I said, I didn't know how Nishioka was gonna beat Donaire. You either gotta be Japanese, a Donaire hater, not necessarily know your boxing that well, or just plain wrong if you think Nishioka is gonna beat Donaire. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. But man, he, he just totally got outclassed. He, he didn't even get to, uh, he didn't even get to, uh, the second gear man he was on first gear the whole time and uh, by the time he tried to kick it up a notch that was when he got knocked down man I mean that's the thing man it's so hard to beat a guy like Donito in that weight class because yup I mean he fights tall he got power he got speed it's just it's just difficult and he's not necessarily a short guy either for that weight class so you know I mean um, I am kinda shocked with the way uh, Nishioka fought though he was super tentative I mean I, I understand that I did say that he needed to be patient but that was beyond patient in the first round I think he threw all but eight seven punches I mean that's simply not gonna get it done man against somebody like Nonito and um it really seemed to me that um he didn't really have a game plan I mean what a, what, what the heck was he trying to do he just, Nonito was practically just waiting for the perfect time to throw his uh, big punches and in that last uh, knockdown Norito was waiting for Nishioka to throw Nishioka reaches with his right but he had his guard down and boom Donaire threw that straight right down on the kisser and Nishioka and Nishioka was like oh, 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 you know what I mean But yeah, man, I mean, you got to give Nishioka props. He had the balls to fight Nonito. Except that, you know what I mean? He didn't bring his Dragon Balls to actually beat him, unfortunately. With that said, so what's next for Donair? I would love to see Nonito fight uh, Guillermo Rigandau or uh, Abder Mares. I mean, he's still uh, comfortable at 122 in sweeping the belts and the big names and the top fighters in that weight class. Should be the only thing on his mind right now. I mean, he can't afford to fight another, what, another... Mathebula or Narvaez or any any opponent of that sort like he's hit the big time he's a top dog now so if he wishes to continue to headline and you know keep elevating his name so up next for Philippine boxing we got Brian Valoria against uh, Hernan Tyson Marquez for a unification bout in the flyweight division so there's more big fights coming up for Philippine boxing we also got Pinoy Pride AJ Banal gets a chance to uh, um, AJ Banal gets a chance, another chance, another shot at a world title 
at the Mall of Asia Arena in the Philippines. Shout out to our boys at Ala Boxing. We're going to look forward to that. D Source, check me out at The Real Source on Twitter. And um, if you're a Facebook guy, we got D Source Boxing, our page on Facebook. And um, to all the haters, like I said, you motherfucking bitches anyway. Peace. Child.